It is a crime fighting tact that apparently is paying off a partnership between Flint Police and the Michigan State Police. In the past five days, troopers have taken nine guns off the streets of Flint, including an AK-47. NBC 25 Stephanie Parkinson live in the newsroom right now. Stephanie, it seems rather unusual to just stumble across a person carrying an AK-47. Is Bill. The way the man was concealing the weapon was odd as well, but it didn't stop police from finding the gun and arresting him. In addition, they took eight other guns off the streets. Tonight, the Flint police chief tells me the city's streets are safer. An AK-47, eight handguns. They're all deadly weapons that are now off the streets in Flint. Anytime you can take guns off the streets, you're, you're saving lives and you're also preventing crime. The man carrying this AK-47 concealed it in his waistband. Michigan State Police troopers tried to stop him, but he took off running. A bold stance to even you know, walk down the street with, with something like that or have something like that on your person. These handguns were all found during separate stops by troopers in Flint. All nine weapons were seized in just five days. These arrests by MSP are part of a partnership between the city and state police that's been going on for several years. The goal? To take a proactive approach on the crime. We have a symbiotic relationship and we, we need them and they need us. Police say having these guns off the streets stops more crime and it may help solve crimes that have already happened. Those serial numbers and, and things like that will be checked. Police Chief James Tolbert says this is a great move toward fighting crime, but the efforts never slow down. He says those who illegally have guns in the city should be worried. We will find that weapon and they will go to jail. It will take some time for the Michigan State Police's lab to process these weapons and find out if they're connected to any unsolved crimes. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Parkinson, NBC 25 News.